All right. Hey, everybody. Spydeco64 uh, here. And, uh, well, okay. I was uh, was going to do a, a NASCAR diecast review here today. However, though, it's the wrong car from Daytona Speedweeks from last year. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Ricky Sen I was uh, supposed to get the Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Daytona 500 win today, but... Um, it got delayed in the mail, so I have to wait until, like, freaking Monday for that to show up, so we'll probably do one on that day, but we're here to have, um, a look at, at Austin Hills, uh, Daytona, uh, you know, Daytona, Beef, it's What's for Dinner 300 race win version, so... I, I was not originally going to get this car, uh, pretty much because, I, like, my reason for it, my reason for it was just, uh, because I already have an Austin Hill car for this year, and I just, I don't know, I just really didn't have any interest in it initially, because since then, they've released so many different Austin Hill die, um, diecasts, but, uh, the, this one, though, however, though, and this is only when I realized that Austin Hill's um, 22 scheme and his 2023 scheme and 24 scheme changed. So that is pretty much the reason why and also because I found out Target. So um, they haven't restocked on any new Winter Circle waves yet, but we'll have to see in the next few couple days if they will. I think they will, though. We'll kind of see what they do. But anyhow, anyways, though, let's have a closer look at the car itself. And as, of course, you can see, Man, this is a really, really cool looking race win uh, version for Austin Hill. Of course, Austin Hill has went back to back to back at Daytona. Of course, he's won, uh, of course, um, pretty much, I think, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, of course, he's won the first uh, Daytona opening races in 22, 23, 24, and then won at Atlanta in 22 and 23 and then 23 um same thing for 24 too however though i think he hasn't even won at talladega yet that actually is kind of surprising how he hasn't won a day yet has he won at talladega i don't think so i think he has not won at talladega yet but but yeah though it is kind of surprising you know austin hill and you got, and I know a lot of people do love to give um, Austin Hill a lot of a lot of crap, and admittedly, some of it's kind of a bit deserving. I don't know, just because of the stuff that kind of goes on at RCR. But you kind of really have to just go ahead and just admit it. He's a great super speedway racer. I mean, there's a reason why he's just won so many of these races. And you know, that's just something that we don't see in the Cup Series or either in even in the Truck Series too, where at consists well actually we do kind of see that in the truck series but not often in the cup series it's just really more or less luck based now and all that sort of stuff so yeah that's kind of interesting right there and i really as i'm looking out front the rest of the car you know again i really love love the way that this came out absolutely just really love the way it came out so yeah but let's go ahead and have a look at the sponsors so on the name banner, we, of course, have Xfinity and Hill right here. Now, uh, unlike, you know, last year's, which we'll, we'll compare it to, this is from 22. Of course, as you can see, it's missing the um, Xfinity banner. And, of course, um, it, of course, it's right here. And then, of course, it has the other details right here with the window bars and all that sort of stuff. But then on the hood, we have Benedict Transportation. And logistics, we have the Xfinity Chevy Camaro front nose, 21 Camaro RCR, Goodyear, and then we're gonna have a look at this side because um the lot the other side is is we'll we'll get to that here in a bit, but here's the clean side. So you got uh Goodyear, and then the tires right here. Uh, interestingly enough, I just noticed the back ones. This one doesn't turn or doesn't really roll all that much. Well, kind of, but not as much as the front ones. So, of course, you can see 75th anniversary. 
uh, NASCAR logo, Xfinity, uh, Kaminic, Arrowhead Bass, NASCAR Race Car, Aston Hill, number 21, United Rentals, Benedict, Global Transportation right there. Uh, there was a 164 scale promo out there I saw, but I don't know if that's um, a thing really now, but the course got the gas cap. Then we got Realtree. Uh, yeah, Realtree. Uh, actually, speaking of which, of, of Realtree, of course, Kyle Busch did win the uh, truck race this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. I do hope we get that in the, um, we get a race win version of that because I actually really like that scheme, but South Point and also called Uniforms. Got Benedict on the deck lid. Hill with the window bars right there. 21 Benedict. And you actually could see the camera, uh, the stickers for the camera right there. It looks pretty, uh, you know, good right there. So I like that. And then on the back, you just got the, um, you know, what was it? Driveforbenedict.com, number 21. And, well, okay. Let's now get into the race one damage. So... Unlike really last year's car, the race one damage is really not too noticeable until you really kind of get in there. Um, so yeah, this is um, from 22, and this is the 23 version. So looking, of course, at the uh, front here, of course, uh, they did add the windshield uh, banner detail. And then, of course, as you see here, the hood is very dirty. Uh, the front end is not that actually dirty. Uh, and then, of course, on the side right here, there's some dirt right here. You know, uh, you know, since Austin Hill has won these races back to back, I honestly is I I have honestly have no idea where this damage comes from. So yeah, there's some dirt right there. And then on the side, you can see there's a tire donut, some more kind of rubber buildup, and then of course you can see some tape right there. But this side has the most damage or has, you know, the most um, wear and tear. Now on the other side, it looks almost clean. But then, of course, um, on this side here, you see it's a bit dirty right there. And for the most part, again, I really love the way that this um, came out. And then, yeah, I can see some, some other stuff back there. But very cool. Very, very cool uh, die cast. So, just for comparison, here is the 22 version. And again, I really ha I have to really kind of preference this, but I I didn't pay attention to the paint scheme. And as, of course, you can see here, yeah, the paint scheme has changed a bit. Yes, Spidey, the, uh, the paint scheme has actually changed. I don't know. Uh, again, I don't really pay attention much, really. And, hell, I didn't really pay attention at all just because... You know, because of the releases of both of these two cars. So, yeah. But, of course, as you can see, this one clearly is missing the um, windshield detail and all that sort of stuff. But this one, yeah, it's more or less of a United Rentals kind of thing going on instead of Benedict. But you can kind of see the uh, design is very, is very, um, how, how should I say this? It, some of the design does carry over, like these swoosh things, they carry over from last year, but of course it's different. Of course the front end is all blue, and then of course this is a darker blue, and this is a much lighter blue. Uh, actually, not really. Um, yeah, actually, the um, yeah, some of it is a lighter blue, but then, yep, that down here is a darker blue, so there you go. Um, yeah, let's see... Of course, Austin Hill was a rookie in the Xfinity Series in 22. And, yeah, that's really kind of that. So, and, of course, with these Winter Circle, um, with these Winter Circle, you know, releases, we, of course, have the base right here. Uh, nothing really all too special to mention. And then here is, of course, the Winter Stack card. Which, honestly, I really love these uh, uh, Winter Stack cards. I think I've already preferenced that. But of course, you can see here, you got Winter Circle, Daytona National Speedway, Austin Heel, Beef, it's What's for Dinner 300 Champion. Of course, you can see Austin um, Hill right there. February 19th, 2023, Daytona Beach, Florida. And then here's the back, and I'll just read out, and uh, we'll read out the stats. Tower Race, two hours, 21 minutes, 30 seconds. 
Start position, you start on the pole. Total laps, 125. Uh, number of cautions, eight for 32 laps. Laps led by 125. Did he seriously lead all the laps? Wait, did he? I, I don't, is that right? Um, please correct me if I'm wrong about this, but is, is this correct? Is this correct? Okay, so there's a, um, okay, yeah, so for the Daytona opening race, there's 125 laps. And then, of course, in the in the summer race, there's 100. But 125, I, I have to, I think that this was a mistake. I think that this is a mistake. I'll have to look this up. I'll, um, I, of course, I'll, I'll probably say it um, in the description or in the, um, in the comments and all that sort of stuff. But it says margin victory under caution. Yeah, it's because Sam Mayer flipped fucking upside down. And that's actually kind of funny how Myatt Snyder, who Austin Hill eventually punched the fuck out of at Martinsville, flipped in his first uh, Xfinity win at Daytona. And then Sam Mayer does the same thing. Boy, we were boy, we were about to see the goddamn what would you call it? We were about to see a um goddamn, you know, um uh you know, basically all the Daytona winners going back to back. But uh like Zane Smith won the um the Daytona um truck race um that year and then Austin Hill won. They won back to back and then all people were thinking, "Oh shit, Austin Cindric's going to win." The uh, Daytona 500, eventually he didn't, so I guess that's pretty good. Um, of course, and I didn't actually go ahead and mention this, but up uh, here's the, you know, the box for Austin Hill. I, I think it's really, you know, honestly just repetitive going over the box just because there's really nothing going on. But uh, I pretty much almost have this whole entire wave. Well, not the whole entire wave, but I do have the cars. Actually, I'll just have a, a look here, so... Uh, yeah, so do have the Jones from the Winter Circle. I don't have the Legato from Shell Finds Oil, the 22 championship one, but I don't have any attentions to get it. Of course, we reviewed Truex and the William Byron um, just last weekend. Of course, I reviewed Kyle Busch in the Gold Series, and I have Zane Smith and Austin Hill. I didn't do one for Zane Smith, but I'll eventually do a video on that. And then we have the Ricky Stenhouse Jr. there and all that sort of stuff. So... Uh, yeah, so we've been reviewing a lot of winter circles lately. Um, quite, um, quite crazy. And, you know, again, I really, really honestly, you know, love this line of NASCAR, um, die casts and all that sort of stuff. Just absolutely love it. But that's pretty much going to wrap things up here for today's video. I hope all of you enjoyed it. This wasn't, you know, the die cast I was actually attending to review, but here we are. So, with that being said, hopefully all of you will have a good weekend, and we'll see all of you in the next video.